a couple of weeks ago, I published a video with an overview how to generally pass Magento tests. What is normally expected or required? I've since then got a question or a couple of questions about how do we specifically prepare for individual Magento tests? Again, as you have questions, thoughts, feel free to drop those in the comments. As I can, I'll respond. Maybe I'll throw it into a new video and, and publish it here on LinkedIn or wherever. The first test I recommend tackling, working to achieve of all the Magento tests, if you're, if you're a developer, is the associate developer. I say it's the easiest of them all, but it's still not easy. So it's easier than the other ones, but it's, it's still tough. There are some tough, difficult questions. So before I begin this, I want to say that Magento tests are all scenario based questions. You must answer the or provide the correct answer to this specific problem or these, this need that is presented to you, these requirements. You must, of course, specify the correct answer to it. It's not questions of memorization related. So like, where do you find this or what class is this found in? It's ideas and it's practical. So here are my three steps and recommend my recommendations on how to pass this test. Number one, read through the study guide. Magento, you provide a study guide. Swift Otter does as well. We do. So take your time. Do it carefully. This, this is going to help you fill in the knowledge gaps. What you need to know. So that was number one. Read the study guide. Prepare that way. Uh, be curious. Get through... Uh, the step through Magento code, etc. But number two is the way to make a lot of this practical. Build a module. The module I'm going to recommend might sound a little funny, but I believe it actually is going to be very effective in your training because it covers a large number of areas of the Magento system. It's going to require a deep dive in figuring this stuff out. And the module I'm going to recommend is the ex create an order attribute module. So go to Amnesty's website and they have a order attribute module that you can purchase, but I'm not recommending you purchase it. Now, if you're a merchant, it's a great module, but as a developer looking to learn, don't purchase it. Don't look at the code. Again, your whole goal is to create, to, to, to stretch yourself in this process. Rather, look at the screenshots on their website and replicate that functionality. The look and feel doesn't need to be perfect. Again, this is just for learning, but you should be able to create the functionality that's required. For example, new attributes in the admin panel. These should appear in the checkout. Once the order is placed, you should be able to see the attributes that were selected or specified in the admin panel on the order page. Honestly, doing this is going to get you about 75% of the knowledge needed to pass the test. It's going to cement this. It's going to force you to be explorative, to be curious as far as the Magento system. So use this opportunity also to learn the correct way of doing things. There's a lot of ways that you could hack this together, but take the time to create a repository, create an API endpoint using webapi.xml, utilize extension attributes, create a layout processor to update the checkout UI components, use plugins to modify the checkout flow and how you get information back up and save it into, uh, into, into the system build and order attribute module. It's going to take you some time and it's going to be tough. And so that's why I said it's the order attribute module cover about 75% of the mod, uh, the knowledge needed, but do it. And number three, the last thing is to do a thorough investigation of the entity attribute value system, EAV system, add a product attribute, maybe tie that into the order attribute model, a module. So it'll request some details or it's associated with uh, an attribute that's required. So if this product is in the cart, then show this order attribute, maybe something along those lines. In addition, create customer attributes, get that value or that input to show up in the customer count area. There's a couple of tricks that are required to do that. This could take you, frankly speaking, it could take you several months of free time. You will graduate though from this mini university that I'm laying out here before you with excellent knowledge achieving the certification again in my opinion is the small part of your accomplishment the knowledge you gain i mean you're touching almost every aspect of the magento system you know how to use this you will be so incredibly valuable by just following this advice take it do it and please feel free to send me an email joseph at swiftauto.com once you've done it once you've passed um 
call me out on LinkedIn. I'd love to congratulate you that way. Whatever it is, I want to see you successful. And this is the way to be successful. Until next time.